It's 2021 and hairstyles that video game characters are wearing can be seen as offensive, which I obviously think is absolutely ridiculous. I view hairstyles not just as things people or characters have, but ways people express themselves, ways to show emotions, and for fictional video game characters, I just view them as developers making a decision to, you know, take a skin one step further to add more details, to give people more options to have their characters look the ways that they want them to. But of course, to some people on social media, hairstyles characters wear can be seen as offensive and racist, and to no one's surprise, Blizzard announced a new MMA skin for uh, May in Overwatch, and boy, oh boy, are the cancel culture vultures really angry about this. They are demanding that it be removed, and Blizzard apologize, all because she's got cornrows. So we are going to start out with this Bounding Into Comics article. Wokies accuse new Overwatch MMA-themed skin of racism for depicting May with cornrow hairstyle. So a newly announced mixed martial arts-themed character skin for May has sparked outrage amongst the Overwatch fan base, as many believe the skin's depiction of a non-black individual with a cornrow hairstyle to be an instance of anti-black racism. So first revealed on April 28th and created in honor of the Overwatch League's upcoming May Melee title fight event, the cheekily named MMA skin depicts the Chinese cryo warrior in a traditional mixed martial arts ring uniform inspired by the intensity and distinctive fa fashion of mixed martial arts uh, replete with a cornrow hairstyle. And this actually did get, um, you know, a lot of positive feedback as well. There are definitely people who are upset with it, saying that this is ridiculous, it's racist, all of these things. But there was actually quite a bit of positive feedback on it. I think just a lot of people want more skins in games like Overwatch, so it's understandable why a lot of people would just simply see this as a skin and enjoy it and say, wow, more options options for players. But of course, there's always going to be the people who take it one step further, saying it is absolutely disgusting that they added a skin like this into the game. So in their announcement of the skin's release, Blizzard described MMA as the first tournament-inspired concept brought to life in the game, with team members explaining that since the May Melee is the first Overwatch League tournament of the year, we wanted to design a skin that represents the peak of competition. We felt combat sports like boxing and MMA embodied the theme well and used this to design the legendary skin, and last year we saw others in the community having fun with the May May pun, and therefore felt May was the obvious hero choice for a May Melee skin. I actually think that this skin looks really good. I like all of the small details, like on her boxing gloves, also the little stars at the bottom, the belt. I think that the colors look great. Overall, I do not think that this is a bad skin at all. Overwatch definitely has some hit or miss skins, but this one, in my opinion, is really good. It says, unsurprisingly, the skin's announcement sparked a wave of backlash as the Overwatch Watch fan base soon after accused both the skin and Blizzard of racism for depicting a non-black character with cornrows. Now, I feel like this has to be pointed out, but right now there aren't a lot of people defending Blizzard, and I clearly see why, because Blizzard has done a lot of bad over the years. They have done their best to pander to the very people who are attacking them now, and a lot of people aren't coming, you know, to defend Blizzard and say it's okay. I'm not here necessarily defending Blizzard, but I am here defending the developer's decision to put this hairstyle on this character, because I think that it's perfectly fine. I do not think that any developer should be attacked and called racist simply for adding a hairstyle to a fictional video game character, but these are the very people who Blizzard has done their best to, you know, appeal their games to, that they have time and time again done things to pander to, and now they're getting eaten alive by the very people who they're trying to get money out of. I just think it's absolutely hilarious. This is why you don't go and change up your games and change up your messaging for a bunch of people who don't actually care about your games and who will eat you alive at the very first chance that they get. 
But scrolling down, some people were saying, for a game that preaches to push diversity, Overwatch sure does a lot of racist things to piss their fans off. See, this person doesn't give absolutely any examples besides basically saying that this skin is racist. They don't actually give any examples, even though they're saying Blizzard sure does a lot of things to piss off their fans. They said they do it on purpose, too, because ain't no way. That's not a very coherent sentence, but uh, that's okay. It's Twitter. You don't have to be coherent on Twitter. Scrolling down, someone said, y'all did not just give May cornrows. Overwatch, come the F on. You know the fuck better than this. Someone said, I'm not even gonna comment on the outfit, it's whatever, but the cornrows? You should have done braids that aren't laced in black culture, but nah, of course. Cornrows, but still no black woman. It seems nothing has been learned from Check's notes from 2018. There are quite a lot of people who are ref you know, refusing to play the game anymore. A lot of people saying they're gonna boycott Blizzard. The same people who didn't boycott Blizzard when they tried to ban Blitzchung simply for saying free Hong Kong revolution of our times. No, no. They are much more worried about cornrows that a fictional character are wearing instead of, I don't know, basic, simple human rights. But it says in PC Gamer's coverage of this backlash against Blizzard, the staff writer outright declared that the MMA skin has the Chinese hero sporting a black hairstyle, even falsely claiming that tight braids are common amongst MMA fighters with long hair, but cornrows are not worn by fighters who are not black, which at first made me kind of do a double take because I have seen a lot of MMA fighters who are not black actually wear cornrows, and um, Bounding Into Comics gives several examples of this. Here is one. Karate Hottie MMA on Twitter had posted this photo. Scrolling down, here is even one of Gina Carano wearing them. They are actually very common in the MMA scene and pretty common, um, you know, for people who are not people of color. Scrolling down, the former WEC uh, champion shared a photo of him sporting the hairstyle back in 2020. And most of these photos are not photos of older instances. The Gina Carano one isn't very recent, but the other ones are not photos that are very old you know they happen in the past two years or so and scrolling down it says the mma skin is available for purchase until may 11th i mean i think that it is absolutely ridiculous that people get so easily offended over the smallest most insignificant things because a character has a hairstyle they're deeming as racist now i'm sure a lot of you will remember this but last year there were people outraged over animal crossing having space buns that non-black characters could wear one person on Twitter posted a screenshot of their character wearing space buns and they were attacked on social media, doxxed, all because they used a hairstyle in a video game that crazy people said, oh my gosh, if you use this, you're racist if you're not black. So the 28-year-old Animal Crossing fan from the UK shared a picture of her character chilling in the kitchen with her pet plush puppy, and her character was sporting black boots, leggings, a pink skirt with a matching pink sweater. However, what most people were upset with was her choice of hairstyle for her fictional video game character. Cute space buns, Fifi wrote with an accompanying smiley emoji, but a handful of people on Twitter with hashtag B LM in their names lashed out at her accusing her of appropriating black culture and being racist all because they put a hairstyle on their character we're talking about fictional video game characters doing fictional things is it that serious no but of course there are people who take it seriously who think that everything should be taken as if it's a slight at a group of people or a jab at a group of people Someone ended up saying space buns, she knew what the hell she was doing. All the people saying it's a video game under the TWT have no common sense like it's not that hard to not appropriate our culture. Clearly this person didn't know what she was doing because she wasn't using it to be offensive or racist. She was using it in reference to Princess Leia. Get it? Leia has buns? Space buns? I mean clearly that is what this person is referencing and they even went on to clarify it. 
And even after they apologized for potentially offending people, no, no. The cancel culture vultures on social media didn't care because it was already too late in their eyes. You appropriated their culture. Scrolling down, it says many perceived her tweets as a threat against Fifi and reported her account. And sadly, Twitter did not act in the time and Amanda deactivated her own account after she saw the support the girl she had just called racist was getting. I mean, people get so easily offended at the smallest, most insignificant things that happen. I mean, seriously. How many people are really offended by this? Someone's fictional character wearing a specific hairstyle, and how many people are just acting offended by it, hoping to jump on the offended bandwagon to get attention? Half the time, you can't tell if people are acting outraged or if they're really outraged about something, because they're basically demanding that people have less options in games because they could be seen as offensive. But let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of this skin? Do you think it's offensive? Or do you think that it's perfectly fine? If you enjoyed this video and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.